been doing this retirement communities for 28 years, all with our parent company, Era Living, and she chooses Aljoya Mercer Island to be the executive director there. With her 28 years of experience, she's a great advocate for our residents. And uh, when they move in, she has an open door policy. She talks with them. She really helps staff, everyone. So that's why she's presenting today is because we wanted you to experience our executive director and what it's like to be living in Aljoya Mercer Island. So I would like to turn it over to Marla now, and she's going to uh, talk about the life and style of living in Aljoya, plus other types of uh, great um, presentation for you here today. So without further ado, Marla, please take over. Hello. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. So I'd like to talk a little bit about what is it like to live at Aljoya? We have had some questions even come in ahead of time about what is it like right now with COVID and the virus? And I would like to start off by saying that, as you see on the screen, life continues at Aljoya. We are still providing excellent service and enhancing, the, we believe, the quality of life of our residents. We do take precautions with our in-person activities, but we have resumed some where we are socially distancing people and of course, we're all wearing masks. I have mine right here. It would look like this. We are also continuing with accommodations for every resident planned with the safety and comfort in mind. So why we did do a short video of some of our residents about why they choose to live at Aljoya. And I'm going to play that first for you. And then I'm going to talk about what the Discover how Joya looks like for all of you. Marla, you may not realize it, but the video is actually muted. Oh, it's not muted on our part. Okay, stop the show. Stop the video. There. So I went to it right from here. And I'm sorry if you all can hear me. I'm sorry that we found out that you could not hear the video. So we'll try this again for you. It's just a short video. So that's how it came up before. You could hear it. Why are you changing that? All right, we'll come back. All right, we're going to have to save the mess. Let's just go back to the video. Yes. 
So I'm sorry, I'm hearing that you're having, we are having te technical difficulties giving you our uh, residents testimonials. So I will go on now with the rest of the presentation for you. So again, people have asked, what are we doing for residents as far as safety during the virus? So we've listed a few things that we consistently are broad-based testing all of our residents and staff so that we know that we are being as safe as possible in case anyone is coming into our building that might be positive. We're also screening everyone who enters the building. So we ask the proper questions from the CDC and we also take everyone's temperature. Everyone must wear a mask. The governor has required that and we were requiring that our staff and residents wear masks before it even became a governor edict. We're socially distancing. We have wonderful guides on the floor, um, big circles, or you'll see some pictures on uh, the chairs in the theater to keep people within that six foot distance. And we do a daily check-in call every day to ask every resident how they are feeling and are they having any symptoms that we might send a nurse by their apartment to check in on them. And we're doing some resident accommodations as well. We are delivering all meals to our residents while our restaurant Lily's is closed. We're also grocery shopping three days a week. You can see myself and a few other staff We've done the grocery shopping and then we're bagging it and delivering it to our residents because we know that each time the residents leave the building, they are taking a chance of exposure. So we're trying to do those things for them that will limit their exposure. We also have an Aldroya TV channel and we're doing lectures, current events, um, uh, operas, different different activities, even exercise that we normally would be doing in person, we are zooming to their apartments via our in-house TV channel. And we purchased some iPads that we loan out to our residents and we set up with them to be able to visit with their friends and family, especially those that don't live nearby close enough to visit. And we are always doing package deliveries for our residents because again, we want to have as little exposure as possible for our residents to outside people and issues that might occur. And we're open for tours, so please call and talk with uh, Larry or David and uh, set up a tour. We have some lovely apartments available I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, we expect to open our restaurant soon, hopefully for the 25% dining, as well as our outside dining area, because we have such beautiful gardens with tables and umbrellas to seat people in. Um, soon we expect to get our guest speakers back in, but we are showing them through Zoom. And in-person marketing events planned for the future since we can't see you now but I'm happy for all of you who have signed on for our Discover Today via Zoom. So let's talk about what your retirement living options are and, and away from the virus information. So you have some options as seniors. You can choose to stay in your own home. You can choose to move to a retirement community that is a month to month model. You can also move to a traditional continuing care retirement community. Those are called CCRCs generally. That's how you'll, people refer to them. And then there's the Aldroya model. We truly are unique in the industry. So first I'd like to discuss a few of the issues that arise with your different living options. So many people say that they would like to stay in their own home and they can retrofit it, and they can bring in in-home help. And that's very true, except that you or your family, if and when you need some additional care, will then have to manage making sure that you have someone who has come into your home, trustworthy, that will show up when they're supposed to, and do the tasks that you've asked them to do. And the tough part about that is sometimes 
they may have a sick child or school may be called off or other issues or they themselves may be ill. And then you and your family are scrambling to see how do you get your services provided for. Where if you move to a retirement community, any retirement community, we have staff that is always here 24 hours a day. So you're never left without service. But the biggest part that I like to talk to people about why I would love you to choose one of the other three models, even if it's not the Algeria model, I really encourage people to choose retirement living in a community. Because in your own home, you don't get the socialization that is so important for all of us. And all of our research from the University of Washington School of Nursing tells us that if you're living in a social environment and you're eating in a social environment with your friends and people that you have things in common with and conversations that you're having all lead to a higher nutrient and a better appetite. And so your health actually stays better. Also, when you're in your own home and you say, yes, I know I'm gonna do yoga next hour, or I'm going to do a brisk walk, oftentimes other things get in the way and you don't have anyone to do it with. Where if you move to a retirement uh, living situation, then you have other residents, other friends that will encourage you to get out and do those exercise classes that we're holding. So I really encourage you to choose something from the other three, a month to month, a traditional CCRC or the Aljoya model. So what's different about us when I say we're unique? So if I compare us to a traditional CCRC, because they have an entrance fee and we have an entrance fee, you will see the differences in at Aljoya, you choose an apartment, you move in as independent, and if and when you might need some assistance, there's no reason to move. We just relicense your apartment and the care comes to you. It's a totally unique model that all of the era living communities follow. Where you see in the other communities, you may move in as independent living. When you need assistance, you have to move to a new apartment. It's often in a different wing or a different building. So you're leaving your friends and the people that you were used to having dinner with to a smaller apartment because you also downsize. There aren't any continuing care retirement communities that place you in a 1200 or 1300 or 1400 square foot apartment. They just don't have those. So if you've chosen a larger apartment, you will have to downsize to get assisted living. And then if you need skilled care, you downsize again to one or two beds in a room. The difference again with Aljoya is that everything is done in the privacy of your own home, the apartment that you have chosen. And we don't ask you to move. We truly believe that in the, in the immediate crisis time, when you need additional help, that is not a time for us to tell you and your family, okay, bring in some movers, get going, pick another apartment. That's just not respectful at the time of your needs. The other wonderful thing about us and all of our air living communities is that you can go on and off assisted living as you need it. Where once you move in the other communities, you are in assisted living pretty much for the rest of your stay at that community. But at our community, at Aljoya, if you need a little assistance, because you may have fallen and broken a hip and you'd like some assistance with bathing and dressing, and then you do physical therapy in your own apartment, we bring in that third party provider under Medicare. And you do that, um, we put you on assisted living. And then once you heal, you go right back to independent. So you're not continuing to incur costs for assisted living that you do not need. So we say that the Aljoya model is you don't have to move and it's a little happy face. Independent assisted and wellness nursing services all come to you in your apartment. We deliver it right to your home and you only pay for what you need if and when you need it. Unlike many communities that bundle services, our services are a la carte. So, and they're also based for cost on the time of the care staff. So if I like a bath three times a week and I only take 15 minutes, 
but my neighbor likes to have a shower every day of the week and it takes a half an hour, my neighbor's going to pay more than I am going to pay because we only charge you for the time of the services provided. We don't bundle services so no one is subsidizing someone else. Everyone is only paying for their own needs. We offer many assisted living services. Whatever the state allows, we pretty much provide. And it's important when you're, when you're shopping and looking at other retirement communities to ask them what assisted living services are provided. For instance, some of our own communities might only do a one-person transfer. But here, we would do a two-person transfer if you needed help moving from your bed to a wheelchair or wheelchair to the commode. So each community can choose what they do under the state licensing. And now Joya chooses to do the full range of services that are provide that we are allowed to provide by the state. A little bit about the amenities here. So Lily's, uh, we have a wonderful chef. That's our restaurant is Lily's. And even though we are not open in the restaurant, we are still making fabulous meals, filet mignon, wild salmon, and those are being delivered to people's apartments free of charge, no delivery charge. So until we get Lily's back open, we are delivering. And some residents choose to come down and pick their food up as a takeout option, and that's also available for our residents. We have lovely concierge services that will help you when you're wanting to look for a gift, order some flowers, um, set up a trip to the airport. Our reception is staffed 24 hours, so someone is always on to speak with at any time of day or night. We have beautiful art in our building. If you haven't been here yet, we often have art. Um, we do different art events where we change out the art so that you're always seeing something fresh. And again, if you haven't been here, we have a lovely garden courtyard um, and a beautiful fireside lounge. And in the winter, it's really nice to sit by those fireplaces. We have an in-house movie theater, um, game rooms, arts and craft, and a resident garage. Um, but the, but our really our nice amenities belong to our garden when you can just enjoy the beautiful weather and the tables and chairs and umbrellas that we place out there for people. So we'll show you some pictures of that in a little while also. We have a beautiful pool. We also have a full service salon and a massage therapist who comes in. We do personal transportation at no charge from downtown Seattle to uh, Factoria to Bellevue. And if you'd like to go out to lunch with friends or you have a doctor's appointment, or you have a hair salon that you'd like to go to, we can set up that personal transportation. It's just like Uber. We drop you off, and when you're ready, you call us, and we pick you back up at no charge. We also do weekly housekeeping and linen services and maintenance services in your apartment. And I'm gonna talk a little bit later about everything that is included in your monthly fee. Um, we have a wellness center that's staffed by RNs and caregivers. You see a group of them in that picture below. Um, we also have a dental hygienist and a UW pharmacy consultant who come in and other podiatrists, other people that we can bring to the community so that stat residents don't have to go out. It's just for the convenience of the residents if they would like to have that service in-house. We're gonna see if we can pick up um, the, okay. All right, so I am going to go on to the next slide then. Some questions to ask. Here's what comes up from many of our prospects. What does it cost to live at Al Joya? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about entrance fees and monthly fees. And I'm also going to talk about some comparison if you choose to live at Al Joya versus one of our month-to-month -month communities or any other company's month-to-month -month communities. So we have everything from a studio 
that's about 700 square feet to a 2,000 square foot apartment and everything in between. We like to hope that we have something to fit everybody's desires, whether that be a one bedroom den that's around 800 square feet or a two bedroom, two bath and a den at 1,600 square feet. Within that range, we have 42 different floor plans and many different sizes. So the monthly fee and the entrance fee range depending on the size of the apartment and the amenities. So does it have a view of the lake? Does it have a fireplace? Um, depending on the view, you may pay more on the entrance fee, but the monthly is strictly square footage. So a 1200 square foot apartment anywhere in the building is going to be the same range. I, yeah, we do have a video to show you of one of our apartments, so I'm going to put that up there now. And we need to start it. Oh, you can hear the music. So let me now talk a little bit about the entrance fee and our apartment homes. That apartment home that you just viewed is actually available. It is a 1,760 square foot apartment home and it, it, it feels good to walk around in it just like the pictures show. So we had some questions about um, that have come in prior to our Discover about what's the value of an entrance fee community? If we could explain a little bit about that, if I might explain a little bit about that. So our entrance fee is 80% refundable. What we've listed here are some, is some information that actually shows you the differences of what you might see in our entrance fee community versus our month-to-month -month community. So for instance, I mentioned the wild salmon and the filet mignon and items like that that are on our extensive dining menu. Um, our menu is a full service menu. And so our residents have appetizers and salads and soups and the entrees and wonderful desserts presented by our baker. So I think if you would compare um, entrance, our entrance fee community to a month to month community, you would see we have a much more extensive dining menu. There is also an annual tax deduction for your monthly fee that can be taken off your medical tax deduction. 
used against your medical tax deduction. And this is interesting because it's only in an entrance fee community that the government gives you a medical tax deduction. And every March, I send a letter to our residents that gives them a percentage based upon the staffing model that we have for the past year. It gives them a percentage that they may take to their tax accountant and use against their medical tax deduction. And generally it's somewhere between 30 and 35%. So you can imagine that if you have a $6,000 apartment home monthly, over 2,000 of that or 24,000 plus can be used as a medical tax deduction. And only if you pay an entrance fee do you get a letter like that because it's only for an entrance fee community that the tax code is written for you to get a medical tax deduction from your monthly fee. If you're on assisted living, that is a 100% tax, medical tax uh, deduction that can be used. We also have heat and air conditioning in every apartment and it's a steel and concrete building. So it's very quiet and you get to control the temperature in your apartment home. Um, we have a higher level of staffing for care as well because we have an entrance fee. And there's no additional entrance fee for a second occupant at Aljoya. It's definitely worth comparing with other continuing care retirement communities because most of them will have a second person occupancy fee that is non-refundable. So there is not one here at Aljoya. It's just one entrance fee, which is 80% refundable at any time, right up until end of life. And we, our goal is for you to be able to stay in the apartment of your choice right and through end of life. And we will bring in hospice as well to help that occur. Um, what else is included for the monthly fee? So we do weekly housekeeping once a week and we provide the sheets and towels, which is really nice for our residents because then in their own washer and dryer in their apartment home, they only have to do their personals because we have done the big flats for them. We do maintenance home service. So if something happens to one of the, um, any of the utilities or the appliances that we are providing, we will repair or replace them. Even right down to changing the light bulbs out with our own light bulbs for any of the fixtures that are in your apartment home. Your monthly fee comes with 25 meal credits. Most people choose to use those for dinner because again, it's a four course meal and a beverage. Um, and assisted living people do receive three meals a day. The personal free transportation is provided. Each apartment has a washer and dryer and we have wireless internet access in every apartment home as well. You get a storage locker with each apartment um, and many life enrichment activities. And if you'd like a personal help button that you can wear to call for help at any time, 24 hours a day, that is also provided for free. That's not an additional charge. And in a month to month community, you would see that as an additional charge. The only things not included are your personal telephone and parking. Parking is $150 a month. And again, our philosophy is you should only pay for what you use if and when you use it. So it's not included in the monthly fee so that those residents who are not driving or not bringing a car are not subsidizing the parking for other people. So if you bring a car, it is $150 a month for parking. And then as I spoke before, the assisted living um, health services are a separate fee depending on the use that you would like from our staff. Um, one of the other things about the entrance fee I will get to, I want to talk about the cost comparison with the entrance fee versus a month to month community. So we've put a comparison up here of one of our sister communities, but any other company that you go to that is a month to month community, you can compare the two different apartments that are of common size to see the difference in the monthly fees. 
So I want to point out that if you look at a month-to-month -month community, you will see that for a 968-square-foot apartment, you'll pay $8,000 a month. For that same size apartment here at Algoya, it's a little over $5,000 a month. So that's a $3,000 difference a month, which is $36,000 each year that you would pay less in your monthly fees. And when you pay rent, the rent is gone. Once you paid it, it's gone. Where with the entrance fee, that 80% is still sitting there to be returned to you or your family as you so choose at the end of life. So the other thing I'd like to point out is if you look at the two apartments, you're seeing some a really nice on the Outjoya side, a nice design um, with a small fireplace, gas fireplace, and a really nice layout. So when you walk into the apartment, it has some character. We have a wonderful designer for our building here at Aljoya, and he's really put together some just lovely apartment homes that you'll get to see if you come and tour with us. So I wanna point out that when you give us an entrance fee, your monthly fee is lower. And why is that? You, when you give us an entrance fee, and the people that when we first opened up in 2008 gave us entrance fees, we paid off our mortgage. So we completely retired our debt. So Aljoya is a debt-free community. Another thing to ask our competitors when you shop is what is the mortgage that they are carrying on that building? We are completely debt-free, which means we don't have to incur extra fee in your monthly fee in order to pay a mortgage. So in a month-to-month -month community, you're always paying on a mortgage, so the monthly fee has to be higher. But we took our initial entrance fees and we retired the debt on the building so that building is free and clear. Not only that, our residents actually have first, first lien on the building and all of its contents in case anything happened to us as a company. We have given them extra protection for their entrance fees. So I do want to say that you would see a lower monthly fee based upon square footage because we are not paying a mortgage out of your monthly fee. And when we look at a very large apartment, we see the same kind of comparison. So for the apartment on the left, the monthly fee would be almost $14,000. And our apartment on the right, Aljoya Mercer Island, for 2,000 square feet is a little over 8,000, which gives you a difference of, a, of over $5,000, almost $5,000 monthly or 60000 a year that you would be able to leave in your checking account because you wouldn't be paying us rent. So this is a big difference on when you put an entrance fee down versus going to a month-to-month -month community. Um, so I hope that answers the question of some of the benefits of an entrance fee community. The other thing that I'd like to say is when we look at that monthly fee for Aljoya versus a monthly fee in the month-to-month -month community, everything in that monthly fee at Aljoya is going to operations. That's why you have a larger dining menu, you have more staff on, you have a higher level of staffing in all of our areas. Um, you have a steel and concrete building. It's because everything in your monthly fee is just going to the day-to-day -day operations, which gives you a higher level of living in luxury. Thank you. So if you want to contact us, I've, we've obviously got some numbers up there. Um, we do want to take some questions that may have come in. I know that some people asked, uh, what is it like? living in, during COVID here. And we actually had some residents do a testimonial, but we haven't been able to give you, um, we haven't been able to give that to you to listen to. So instead, I just like to tell you that our residents feel very comfortable and safe in all aspects. And that they also feel like if they were living in their own homes, they would really feel more like prisoners because here, we are helping them 
do the safe thing by bringing in extra services as we need to, by doing uh, testing consistently, because I don't know how many times any of you have been tested lately, but our residents are getting tested normally in a five to six week period. So our residents know that, and our staff are also being tested that frequently. And then if we think that we may have someone with symptoms in the building, we are testing immediately and we are receiving those tests back within 24 to 48 hours. We have a wonderful lab we're working with and thanks to the University of Washington, um, also have some great nursing techniques. So we are able to keep our residents safe. So let us see if we can uh, see if there are any other questions there that might pop up. If you have a question for me, please go ahead and type the question so that we can see it in the group chat and I will certainly try and answer it. Any further questions out there? David, anything I might have missed? I'm not sure. You know, we have those videos, so we can email those videos to everyone afterwards. Oh, so that's nice to hear. Those. So David's yeah. saying that we have the videos of our residents and anyone who would like to hear the testimonials from our residents, they did a very nice job. We'd love to send them to you on an email. Well, I'm not seeing any other questions. Larry, have you unmuted? Do you have any? I'm here, Marla. Thank you so much for this presentation. You see on the screen, uh, my name, Larry Almo. I've communicated with all of you on Zoom today, and I thank you for joining on that. Also, David has been working on all the technical things. Thank you, David. He's uh, there for us, and he uh, takes care of all those things. And uh, so, uh, David will be working on the video. Maybe we can send it to the people uh, as, a, as a file. So, I'll be in touch with you on Zoom today so you can enjoy the experience of what it's like to live in here with some of our residents' testimonies. So uh, you can call, email, I'll, I'll reach out to all of you and we'll make this uh, a very nice, uh, easy transition for you. And you may have some questions that you didn't ask Marla, but formulate them and I'll be able to uh, answer those when I get in touch with you um, today. So have a great day, everyone. Anything else, Marla? Well, the last thing I'd like to say is also, thank you so much for joining us today and that we do have some lovely apartments available currently. And Larry and David are happy to show you, to actually tour you through some lovely apartments that are available. So thank you all for joining. I think that's about it. So we're gonna wrap it up right here. So thank you all, have a great day. Thank you, bye-bye.